Now, sort of interesting tonight, I heard Rosie talk about uh, someone who's been fighting e-beggars and they said they've been fighting e-beggars for 10 years and she's like, whoa, 10 years. Is that what you want to do with your life? You've spent 10 years at it. But see, a lot of people think, oh, it's stress and it's anger and it's hatred. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. In the end, it's like water off a duck's back. Because you know who you're dealing with. In fact, for some people, it's a pleasure. It's almost like a cop I know. Who likes beating the shit out of drunk people? They actually look forward to dealing with assholes because they get to thump them with a stick. It's a little bit the same as my uncle. He used to, uh, as you know, he more or less essentially went bankrupt. Uh, and uh, law become a hobby for him. Helping other people in a similar circumstance, most of whom didn't miss as many payments as he did, but law become a hobby and everybody else is, oh, you don't want to go to court. Oh, court's terrible. Anything to avoid court. It was a hobby to him. He was so relaxed going into court that he could walk into a courtroom and just about light a cigar and go, let's get the show on the road, boys. He didn't give a shit. Because you become used to it. Now I want you to think about something else. Consumer protection. How many years has consumer protection been around? Wouldn't you agree that fighting e-beggars is no different from consumer protection? Really? Except, see, with consumer protection, it's a dodgy product that a consumer got. Or they got ripped off by a company. And... You know, at least they might have got the damn dodgy product that would half work but might have issues with it. What do you get with e-beggars? Nothing. No recourse, no recoil, no company you can take to court in a class action lawsuit. You didn't even get a fucking product that was defective that might have half worked for a couple of months. You got nothing. I think... When you get nothing, fighting e-beggars is like consumer protection when you never got the fucking product. Think about it. <laughs> Does anyone go, oh, you've been in consumer protection for 10 years. Is that what you want to do with your life? Nah, I've decided I want to do something better. I want to fight e-beggars for 10 years. Now, it's not me that she was talking about, but I can understand where this guy is coming from. Who's more dodgy? Someone who actually makes a product that's dodgy? Or an outright idiot who gets money begging for sore tooth, van repairs, broken transmission, blah, 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 whatever. You know, chickens got attacked by a raccoon, whatever. And then goes and spends it on McDonald's, prostitutes, beer. It, tell you what. You know, oh, I need a solar system. Spend money on junk food. If you can stand up for consumer protection, you can stand up even more for fighting e-beggars. You mightn't want to waste years on it, but there are people who have wasted their entire life on consumer protection. Just think about it.